Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I want to show how to make this business growing animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So first step, let's create new solid layer for background. Right mouse, new and solid. Add name background, click OK. And lock layer, then go to shape layer, hold this icon. Select this rental tool and let's make one object like this. Click selection tool and let's go to fill. Select this color blue like this and click OK. Go to stroke, change stroke width 0 and change name box 1. OK and select this pump behind. Move the anchor point down. Okay, click station tool. And let's unlock this background layer. Go to FX preset. Search FX gradient ramp. Select this gradient ramp. Let's use for this background layer. And go to start color. Let's change blue like this. Click OK. Go to end color. Change dark blue. And click OK change ramp shape right the ramp and let's select this pin move to down and this move to center like this okay and change ramp scatter 100 okay and lock layer then let's create new solid layer add name grid click ok and go to effect presses search effect grid select the grid Let's use for this grid solid layer and move to behind box, go to color, let's change like this, click OK and go to size from, change with slider and let's change like this, change opacity, OK not bad. So in this time let's lock layer grid. And go to shape layer and let's make one shape like this. Click selection tool and let's move to here. And let's select this shape layer, control D for duplicate, press air, change rotation 90. And press S, click this icon, let's change scale like this. And let's move to here. Okay, let's change scale like this. And hold control, double click for move to anchor point center. Click selection tool. Okay, not bad. Let's select this all shape layers. Move to center. And select this box. Let's press S, click this icon, change scale like this. Okay, not bad. Let's select this shape layer. Let's move to left, change this layer main 1 and main 2. OK, let's select these two shape layers, move to behind box. And select this box, let's press S, change scale like this. And move to here, change scale. And move to down, like this. Then, let's select this box and press S. Let's move to right. Again, Control D, move to right. Again, Control D, move to right. And again, move to right. Also again, move to right. Again, Control D, move to right. And let's again control D, move to right. Let's again. And again. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's make animation for box one. Let's press S and go to here. Make scale keyframe, go to first second. Let's change this scale zero. 
Say keyframe make easy. Let's go to graph editor. Let's see. Okay, select this graph. Let's make smooth. Okay, not bad. Let's back to keyframes and select this box to press S. Let's select all this box and press S, open all scales. Go to last shape frame, make scale shape frames, and go to first second, change scale zero. Let's see. Okay, nice. Let's select this box, make scale shape frame, move right, and change zero. So in this time, go to last shape frame, and let's first step select these shape frames, make easy, go to graph editor. And don't forget to make smooth graph. Okay, back to shape frames and go to last shape frames. Let's select this box too. Let's change this like this and select this box, change scale and select box 4, change scale like this and select box 5, change scale and select box 6, change scale like this and box 7 let's change scale box 8 change like this and box 7 let's change scale and finally box 10 change scale like this okay let's see okay so in this time select this box 2 let's move right and box 3 move right like this and this Okay, let's see. Nice, not bad. So in this time, let's select all layers, Control A, and close keyframe settings. And in this time, let's go to Pen Tool, and go to here, last keyframes here, and make one line. Let's first here and next here click section tool and select this box 10 let's press u select this last scale keyframe let's change scale like this okay nice and select the shape layer let's change name line and go to fill let's click here click none for close fill color go to stroke Let's change stroke color. Let's select blue and select this color. Click OK and change stroke width. OK, not bad. So let's go to hold this pen tool icon and select this convert vertex tool. And let's make like this. And let's make like this. Click section tool, let's see. Okay, not bad. And select this line and go to add, open trim pads. Let's open trim pads one here. And go to first second, change end zero, make end shape frame. Go to last shape frames here, change 100. And select shape frames, make easy, go to graph editor make smooth graph like this let's see okay nice let's select this shape frame move to left okay back to shape frames select last shape frame move to right let's say again okay very nice so in this time let's open shape one and open pet one select this pet Go to window, go to here and click create new from path. Let's click. And when we select path, let's click this trace path. Okay, nice. Let's close window. Let's see. Okay, we have problem. Let's fix it. Let's select this new object. Let's open here. Open FX and here. Let's open progress. And let's click here. This is expression and select all expression. Let's delay it. For done expression, click this empty area. Okay, let's see. 
nice so in this time let's select this progress let's link to this end keyframe and let's click here for done expression let's see okay very nice so go to project and for example i will use this arrow let's close settings and select this arrow let's move the inside or composition let's go to render tool let's masking like this click section tool and in this time let's go to fill search if you press a fill let's use for this arrow and go to color let's select white click ok and let's move to here select pump behind icon move the anchor point here click session tool and let's link to this null object let's move to here and press air chain rotation press s chain scale let's move to here press air again chain rotation okay let's see nice so in this time let's select this line press u and go to here change this 9 to 2 click enter or let's change 9 to 5 okay that's good and let's select this arrow let's press t change opacity 0 make opacity keyframe move to right and go to here change 100 let's see okay nice so in this time let's go to effect presses search effect glow select this glow let's use for this box and change glow radius and change this okay let's control c this glow effect and select this box control v and select this control v and this and this also this box layers and select this line and this line and this line layer and this arrow so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck